Hi, this is Gene from MyFixSmartphone.com. Today I got this uh, project. Got a little small uh, called Nebular projector and a speaker and a customer brought it in because the charging port, it wasn't charging, obviously broken charging port. Uh, it's a simple project, but I just wanted to show you what you can do if you don't have the matching charging port because this is kind of the uh, unique port looking has like four bridges that needs to go in and all you need is this five pins to connect with the micro uh, USB and uh, the one that was on it actually broke inside because of the uh, too much usage so um, I didn't have the part and I, it's not even available so I had to like modify it but then before I started doing it I figured uh, I wanted to share my methods how I do it so uh, let's do it okay so this is a charging port that was actually on this board and even though it looks okay but the internally the pin was broken because you can put it in and if you wiggle it just doesn't do anything indicating there's a breakage inside and this is looking like the good old blackberry uh, 9700 charging port but it has a long leg so can't even get those parts anymore but I, what I had was uh, I had the, some like HTC charging port that I from my stock and it looks pretty similar very similar slightly different but this one has uh, the original has a five five pin this one has seven pins All right. But these two on the side are ground, so I can just cut that off. And I just have to get these five pins to connect onto the board. And if I can just kind of bend this, I can fit it in. So this is pretty uh, soft material, so I just make sure I use my uh, this holder and just make sure I bend it. And I think it's pretty similar size, and you know, if if it if the hole doesn't let me put this uh, in there, I just have to kind of adjust it. And I just need to get this leg into at least two holes in there, and I believe that's gonna give a pretty good support. So this is how I do it. So I'm getting it close. Make sure. Push, comes straight down get it 90 degree okay all right so you know you just uh, I gotta make sure it fits so you can see so it is going in one side, but just a little twice wide, so I might have to bend a little more. A lot of tweaking, but I don't want to break the leg yet. I mean, worst scenario is I might have to cut it and just put a lot of solder to give a good anchoring, but See if I can get this in there first. I'm still come up too wide. Looks like the uh, the second leg is too too thick for this hole right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to cut that and put this in there. The first leg on each side and cut the second part. And I'm gonna put a, just anchor it 
and put a solder. So maybe I can just kind of go like this. It's gonna, this leg's gonna touch this uh, diode, so I have to cut that a little bit more. So let's see, do you get it in here? A little too wide. It's a soft, soft material, so uh, just make sure you don't do too much so it breaks. All right, so, yep. So I got it in there, and I'm gonna make sure the pad pins on the pad on the board uh, gets a good contact the uh, actual charging port so this is actually uh, a little too high so even though I know I can fit it in there so it's a little high so I'm gonna have to bend that pin to make a good contact so I'll have to work on it a little bit more uh, I'll be back okay so what I did was to bend it the uh, bend the pins down a little bit just five pins uh, let me see if I can zoom that in Yep, those five, five pins are bent downwards to make a contact to here. So let's see. Yep, you can see it's actually uh, touching. So I should be able to solder this onto that. Uh, it's gotta have enough room to make a good contact so I might have to cut I might have to cut just slightly to make a good contact but this should work let me uh, grind it off okay so what I did to make a good contact was to bend the pin more like um, angled I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, you can see how it's bent. So, this should make a good contact. So, let's get to the assault. So I gotta make sure oh I forgot to tell you that yeah, you have to tin the pad before starting so uh, so you, you don't have to apply too much heat right, so, so make sure get that.
order to make a good contact, you have to uh, just kind of press your uh, soldering iron down. Okay. Alright, I think I got it, but let's just test uh, before assemble, let's just test, make sure uh, it is uh, all there. Okay, looking at the microscope, it looks like the uh, ports of the connectors are connected. So I just have to anchor this more and more time, make sure it doesn't move. And we'll um, assemble and test. Let's see. All right, so I got this USB amp meter. So it's providing a 4.82 volt. Let's see, and this is a cable. Plug it in, make sure I don't plug it in the wrong way. Pop it in there. And if you go there, now it's showing port one and three and taking, all right, so it's probably out of battery, but right now it's showing charging. So it's a taking 12.12 uh, amp. So I think, oh, yep. I think it's lit up, indicating it's charging. So, Looks like it's a successful repair, but I'm going to wait a little bit more because it looks like the battery was completely drained, so it's taking really slow. The amp is going like crazy, so it's going up, so it should go a little higher. So it should be more than 0.8 to, be, uh, to take a proper charge. You can see the numbers going up and down, up and down, so it's actually doing something to the battery. And the amp is going up 0.5, so that's enough but it should be a little higher to charge better so it looks like it's a successful repair and uh, once it fully charges i'll take one more video all right so i turned it on you can see it on the on my wall it's getting projected it better than one percent but it's showing it's charging so uh, it'll take a while but Looks like I can just go ahead and wrap this up and call this a successful repair. So if you have any questions, drop us an email through our website, ifixsmartphone.com or you can leave a comment here. Thanks for watching.